Hello, thank you for joining us today. My name is Leah Hailu, and I'm an intern with the Equity, Inclusion, and Diversity Committee here at Mayo Clinic's Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology. And for today's video, I'm here with Jackie, and she'll be answering a few questions about her role and her experience at Mayo. So Jackie, if you'd like to introduce yourself a bit. Hello, thank you, Leah, and I'm happy to be here today. So my name is Jackie Cassiano, and I'm one of the quality specialists in the uh, lab genetics and genomics, and uh, I support the clinical genome sequencing lab. Uh, it's known as CGSL. Uh, so our lab is just the, uh, uh, provides the next generation sequencing and the bioinformatics support to uh, complement the uh, clinical uh, practice. Uh, our technologists, they use the um, capture-based uh, library prep and the Illumina uh, library prep. And the, um, they also use the Illumina and the ion torrent uh, sequencing platform to do the DNA sequencing. Uh, so after the sequ sequencing of the DNA in the lab, the uh, bioinformaticians uh, will then process and analyze the uh, uh, quality control of the uh, sequencing data uh, before the results are uh, being released to uh, the host labs. So uh, in my role as a quality specialist, I review LEMS events and the, I ensure that um, the quality controls are um, functioning as expected. And I also review documents and uh, that are due for updates. And I uh, do review and uh, uh, signing off on validations. So this is a little bit about me. Yeah, you do a lot of cool things. <laughs> Thank you. So, do you have anything that you do that's your favorite in your role? Collecting data, so it's, that's my favorite part of the job. Uh, when I first started at Mayo um, as a clinical lab technologist, after I finished my uh, training, I was uh, volunteered to uh, uh, to get involved in uh, some process improvements, projects, and stuff like that. So in those um, projects, I was tasked to. Um, collect data that we use to evaluate and uh, come up with um, a good solution for any uh, uh, issues at hand. So uh, in my role now, I enjoy looking at data and working with uh, my team at work to find solution and ensure that our uh, the quality of the, uh, the processes in our lab is uh, uh, meeting all the uh, standards and regulations. Thank you. Yeah. And you mentioned that you were a clinical lab technologist before. So mm -hmm. I was wondering, um, why did you choose to work at Mayo? What brought you here? Uh, that's very interesting. I am originally from Sudan. I moved here uh, in 2002. And uh, the first city I lived in is Rochester. And of course, when you are in Rochester, you have to know about Mayo Clinic. <laughs> so I came to know the, about Mayo Clinic and the history and all the um, uh, excellent patient care that Mayo provides for their uh, patients, you know. So I, um, that inspired me to uh, seek a career at Mayo. So I finished my degree in lab, uh, clinical lab science in, uh, at the U of M. University of Minnesota, and then uh, we moved to the Twin Cities after, you know, to, for me to finish my uh, degree. After I finished my degree, we did, my family and I decided to move back to Rochester, and where I decided to apply and get a job at Mayo Clinic, so, and I was offered the job as clinical lab uh, technologist in the blood bank. Oh, that's yeah. super cool. Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit how Mayo helped you find a sense of belonging? <sighs> Being offered a job at Mayo Clinic uh, 10 years ago uh, gave me the sense of um, belongings. So I felt like I belonged to this um, great community of Mayo back then. And I still appreciate the 10 years that I've been here at Mayo. And um, it's a great institution to work uh, in, and uh, I look forward to many more years. Uh, uh, yeah, Mayo has 
offered me a lot of, um, you know, experience, uh, all the, uh, the roles that have been working here at Mayo. I gained a lot of experience and everybody, the teamwork and, you know, I made friendships and all that. So I feel like I belong to this uh, great community. So nice. Yeah. And you mentioned a little bit, like, you're ready to see what the future has for you at Mayo. And I was wondering, what do you see for yourself in the future at Mayo? Like maybe a different position, um, anything like that? Uh, right now, I love my current job as a quality specialist. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, Mayo offers a lot of uh, opportunities for uh, their current employees. So as of now, I am more open to uh, any opportunity that comes my way. And I will continue gaining the experience from uh, uh, the work that I do and use the experience to advance my uh, skills and uh, when the opportunity presents itself, um, I'll embrace it. So. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> and for my last question, I was wondering if you could tell me um, anything else you'd like to share with the audience about your experience or any advice to somebody who might be new to Mayo Clinic. Okay. Uh, I just want to tell any, everyone that who are current employees or future employees, uh, that Mayo is a great place to work at. Uh, there are um, a lot of opportunities for you based on your um, talent and skills. Uh, if you like to work independently or if you like to work in a group uh, setting, Mayo has an opportunity for you. Uh, you will need to set a goal for yourself, uh, build and shape your skills and uh, enhance your talents and Mayo will embrace you for sure. So, and for our patients, uh, we just have to let them know that they have to rest assured that, you know, all the employees, uh, they try their level best to ensure that their needs um, come first. So uh, this is the Mayo uh, core value, the needs of the patient comfort. So everybody has to rest assured that, you know, uh, the needs will be met here at Mayo. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me and speaking to our audience today. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh.